Hello YouTube, LD50 here, but another video. And today we're going to have a walk through my Vault 88 build. I've been uh, spending the last couple of weeks making this. Um, it is a modded build. So the mods that I've used are the STS, Scrap That Settlement. USO, Unlocks Settlement Objects. Um, Creation Club. We've got the Fallout 4 main patch. Um, Settlement Sandbox Expansion. Um, and I think there might be one or two others, but the, the main ones we've used are the Creation Club and the USO and the Scrap That Settlement. Uh, so I'm uh, playing on PS4, um, just for the record. So this is our main entrance to Vault 88. This is where you first come in. And behind us up there is a spawn point for enemies. So we've created a, a decent amount of defense in this area. Uh, heavy laser turrets and we've got a uh, security camera up there which we'll uh, talk about in a minute and then moving in so you can see it from that side so uh, when the radius come through obviously they'll uh, get cut to pieces by all these lasers and then moving this way we've uh, glitched in uh, a couple of uh, well I say glitched in uh, we've placed in uh, a couple of reskinned uh, concrete electric doors these are from the Unlock Settlement Objects Suite, USO Suite. Um, and uh, we've obviously used some other pieces uh, from the concrete set, again, that have been reskinned uh, to maintain the colour. So these are two way um, operated doors. You can open them from the outside and then you can close them again from the inside. And this means that uh, NPCs or settlers can't accidentally get out to where the danger is. And it also means that raiders can't get into the main vault. So obviously when we come out we always make sure that we close behind us. And then this is our main security uh, area. So uh, if you're familiar with Vault 88, normally there is a set of uh, a sort of uh, detox things here that you have to walk through. I mean, they don't function; they just uh, they're just there for show. Uh, but to be able to build uh, this build on the size that I've had, I've had to scrap everything. So that's why I've used the scrap that settlement mod, and we scrapped everything out of Vault 88. Literally everything that we could scrap went down. All the tunnels, scrapped all the rocks, everything. Uh, and the reason we've done that is to give us the largest amount of build capacity. So this room has been uh, stripped out and uh, just put some lighting. Uh, we've got some conduit in here which we'll talk about in a minute. And then this is our little security room. Um, so we scrapped everything in here apart from this desk which you cannot scrap uh, as it's required. Uh, so we scrapped everything else and then we put some bits and pieces in to make it look how we want it to look. So we've got a, a security person here and then we've got our uh, security camera monitors over here now this is part of the um, settlement ambush kit which is a creation club uh, thing and we should hopefully be able to view our security cameras around the uh, place so let's see if this will work looks good so far so this is a security camera that's uh, pointing down into the entrance so we can see what's going on there well, we've got uh, three other cameras now there is a little bug with this system where it tells you that you've taken damage sometimes uh, even if you haven't so it may or may not happen so this is the um, entrance to the vault that is down by the uh, pharmacy and there's another spawn point here so the spawn point is to the left through that doorway as uh, so we've set a camera up here and we've set a uh, a defense point here with a load of turrets there's uh, there's some below us that you can't see and there's uh, further ones over to the right out of shot as well the other spawn point is down in the uh, tunnels where the train station is um, and we couldn't really build down there we had trouble actually building down there so we've built as far down as here uh, so this camera is on the front of the scaffolding holding all of the uh, uh, turrets and the next camera 
which is in the same area which should give you a slightly better view so all those turrets are pointing down into that uh, that cave down there and that's uh, where raiders will come through so that is all of our security cameras we'll cut the feed for now and then we'll carry on and have a look around the vault so fitting with fitting fitting with our head cannon theme um, obviously in the security office we'd want to have uh, one of our security monitors so that's where that is uh, guard on duty here uh, moving around uh, oh no sorry I get a bit confused in this bit as you can see the frame rates a little bit poor because uh, this is a play PlayStation 4 and it you know, hardware is limited uh, but down in our reactor room here uh, we've left the reactor in place and scrapped everything else that was scrappable and we've run some conduit uh, we've run some conduit and we've glitched in some posts to uh, you know to make it look authentic uh, the reason we've had to put conduit in here is to power uh, this area so we've got some power radiators which uh, provide power for the lights and stuff and then power for the doors and that conduit goes through the wall and provides power for our defenses um, normally when you're using the Vault-Tec building blocks um, the power grid runs through the blocks uh, but it doesn't work in this area so anything that we uh, build past this doorway is powered by this uh, generator that's down here uh, but the conduit is just for this area uh, this is our first workshop and we've got uh, armor bench uh, weapons bench etc and then moving down into the main vault itself so from here onwards is where we've built uh, this is our main atrium I'm going to walk in fairly slowly because as I said the frame rate is a bit poor we've got a uh, hanging decoration up there overseer up uh, above as you can see and a bar straight in front of us but we'll come to that in a minute just going to turn around so you can have a good look at the atrium managed to get some uh, lighting up into the ceiling there and uh, some other lighting ar around but we did have to use some street lighting uh, because uh, the, the, the distance that the lights will illuminate is, is quite short and so the area at the bottom of the stairs was a bit dark so we've had to put some street lighting in for that right so on this top deck here is our uh, bar uh, barman's disappeared for some reason maybe they're off duty uh, but anyway a uh, little bar here and what we've done is we've glitched in uh, a level 3 bar into these counters here so that when the barman's on duty he will stand there and serve us some drinks uh, fully stocked bar as you would expect and then some seating area over here this seating is from the neon heights or neon flats or whatever it's called um, build set which is creation club and uh, we've got our gaming machines uh, we've also glitched in some uh, one arm bandits into our countertop here as well just to hide them because they are a bit ugly and we've got some uh, disco lights up uh, in case anybody wants to have a bit of a boogie uh, this suspended table again is from the neon flats or neon heights or whatever it's called creation club so that's our uh, that's our bar right we will go to I think we'll go to the clinic next uh, you can see down into the farm from up here but we'll do the farm when we get downstairs so we have a little clinic here yeah I think it's a bit too late for everyone to be on duty uh, you can't really tell the pass passage of time in the vault um, it just looks like the same you know the same time all the time because there's no uh, no uh, you know Sun or anything uh, so I'd imagine we're uh, past closing time for all the shops but uh, nonetheless we have our little clinic here seating area this uh, modular seating is from the um, 
USO, I believe, uh, you, you unlock settlement objects. Um, you know, relatively well stocked uh, clinic. Um, now, being on PS4 and the limitations of the hardware, there's only so much I can actually do decoration wise without it just completely ruining the frame rate. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much all we could do, but I think it looks okay. And then we got our faux Ropter and our surgeon. Oh, the surgeon's on duty, but the doctor's not. So, who knows? Uh, so, yeah, nice little clinic. Oh, here's our doctor. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> if you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Yeah. No, not okay. right now. Let me know if that changes. Yeah, she doesn't look very healthy, actually, does she? Looks like she needs a bit of a bit of a wash or something going on there. Who knows? Uh, bit of a grubby face. Right. So that's our clinic. And the other things that we have on this uh, level are the accommodations. So, Clem, you're supposed to be manning that faux Ropter. Look at him in his lovely stupid face. Um, oh, there's our barman. You should be, uh, you should be on the bar, mate. Uh, so we've got some uh, bedrooms here. Uh, they're all twin rooms. A bit of a congregation going on here. Maybe we'll leave them, um, leave, leave them to some privacy. Uh, but we've got uh, four different rooms here, twin rooms. The uh, the the beds are from uh, Home Decor, which is Creation Club. Uh, I think the mats are as well. Um, this I think is modern furniture. And uh, this over here, I'm not sure. That might be modern furniture as well. Um, or home decor. One of the two. Anyway, that's our little bedrooms. And then we'll go up here to some more accommodation. So, got some more accommodation up here. Farmers hanging out. And again in here. So this is one accommodation wing. Oh, we seem to have lost lights there. At some point I need to fix that. They should be on. And then over here we've got another accommodation wing. And up here we've got some uh, double rooms all kitted out. Uh, some of this is base game, some of this is uh, modern furniture, some of this is home decor and some of this is USO. I think the uh, TV might be USO because it's clean. So we've got three double bedrooms along here and then we've got a little nursery here. Now at the moment we don't have any children. Uh, I haven't progressed the, the story far enough to uh, to get any children but uh, when I do get some I'll be sending them along here and uh, then they've got a, a children's room so moving back down to the uh, main atrium we're going to go down to the bottom floor so we've got four uh, four doggos uh, one of them is dog meat here he is my friend dog meat and then the other three are uh, dogs that have been captured. Now these are supposed to be puppies. Um, the USO suite allows you to build uh, various cages and one of the cages is for a puppy, uh, which I was slightly disappointed to find out is just a miniature dog. Anyway, uh, there is another dog somewhere, but I don't know where he's gone. He's off doing dog things. So we've got our four dogs here. Uh, that helps with defense and we've got some cats as well which will I'm sure come across that helps with happiness so our first uh, communal bathroom there's four bathrooms all in all in all and we've got uh, working stalls and uh, some showers and some sinks now these sinks are uh, a USO item I believe unlock settlement objects uh, the main base game doesn't allow you to have any decent things for bathrooms but uh, the USO does so we've got a nice little communal bathroom there 
and then we've got our main uh, area for uh, for our farming, which is our main crops: uh, potatoes, carrots, muck fruit, and uh, and our corn. Oh, there's one of our kitties hanging out in the corner. And then we've got our barber, who is not on duty at the moment, but will be hanging around somewhere. I've used the Art Deco building set uh, for the furniture in here, so this is all Art Deco furniture. So that's our little uh, our little uh, barber shop. As you can see, we've uh, managed to glitch a little light underneath this because this, I think, is supposed to be some sort of vent or something, but uh, it looks a bit rubbish. So we uh, managed to glitch a light under there, so it looks a bit more. Uh, looks a bit better and then here we've got our two uh, trading rooms so we've got our armor and weapons in here uh, with a variety of uh, items uh, on display some armor on mannequins and then our weapons vendor with lots of weapons on the wall he would normally be stood there selling us uh, any type of weapon or you know defensive device we've got a load of mines here and uh, some more mines and missiles and stuff so uh, a few melee weapons and stuff uh, hanging around in the display and then our second trading room is here which is our oops some clothes on display and our general store which has got some more items on display, a load of magazines and our bobblehead display, a load of toys and uh, things that people can buy. So that's our little trading rooms. And then uh, underneath the atrium uh, stairs there we've got a little seating area and some more magazines for people to sit down and uh, enjoy themselves. Uh, now we will go into uh, we'll go into the cafe. So this is our cafeteria. Uh, we've got some fancy seating area on this side, some proper tables and chairs, and then some booth seating on this side. That's from the Nuka Cola uh, content creation, uh, sorry, Creation Club content. And you know we've decorated it out to look uh, fairly like a uh, you know a little cafeteria. Uh, we've got. Uh, display of nuka colas here and a few food items ready to go some more food items here ready to go and as you can see in the back there we've glitched in a uh, in a grill and we've also glitched in underneath the grill which you can't see you can only see the flames um, a campfire uh, so that gives us uh, you know some authentic looking fr flames on our piece of meat that's grilling uh, we've also glitched in as you can see there, we've glitched in a level three yeah. bar so that we'll have somebody standing here looking like they're, uh, you know, ready to work. And obviously in the corner here, which uh, you can't quite get to because everyone stood in the way, uh, is our uh, drinks dispenser. Uh, there is a settler assigned to that, but they're uh, off doing something else at the moment. So that's our little cafe area. Uh, we have glitched in um, a Slocum Joe's donut. Uh, display into this cabinet here because uh, the display bottom is not very nice so we managed to glitch that in and hide it just got the uh, donuts on display and we've got our uh, porter diner there as well so you can see from this side quite a nice little cafe uh, next we'll go to the overseer's room so the overseer's up there looking over. Getting stuck on the stairs there. And this um, console here now, you can't use this console. You can sit down at it, but uh, you get stuck in it. So it's just here for display. Uh, another kitty up here and uh, some seating area. Again, this is the uh, Art Deco build set looks a bit more fancy and a desk for the overseer and uh, a few knickknacks to put in the uh, in the cabinet which does actually open which uh, is quite nice again I think this is a um, art deco piece and then little art deco bedroom for the overseer 
Uh, these items in the in, in the wall here are, are what radiate power. So as I said, the um, the vault pieces themselves, so the room pieces, transmit power through themselves. But to be able to uh, harness that power, you need to put one of these on the wall in the area that you want. And it radiates power out to about, I think, about four or five uh, units either side. So if you imagine this is two units wide, so we only need one in here. And then we've got uh, Overseer's Bathroom. And again, just a nice little simple bathroom with a shower for the Overseer. Uh, just put some fluff in the corner to, uh, to make this uh, vault -Tec population management system look a little bit more in place, if you see what I mean. And then, obviously, we can look down over our atrium out of the overseer's window and see our lovely hanging display which is uh, hanging there in the middle right that is fairly much the bottom deck I think we've done the uh, barbers we've done the com uh, the uh, uh, trading floors and we've done the uh, cafeteria so now we're going to take a wander down to this wing um, so this is extending down one of the tunnels in vault 81 and we've used the wide pieces here to make a nice wide tunnel and so when we go down to this bit here you'll see that we've got our power armor displays for uh, the power armor for uh, the uh, settlers to use in case we do get a big raid There we go, and obviously a power armor bench to uh, be able to work on the power armor and repair it if we need. Uh, this is an arm, a weapons workbench, and this is an armor workbench, and these are from the uh, Neon Flats Creation Club. So they just give you another option uh, rather than having to use the sort of you know distressed ones. And then our robot, uh, robot manufacturing plant here. If we want to build any robots and if we want to uh, do any VR building we would go into the VR pod there so the VR pod is a uh, creation club item and it allows you to enter a, a new world where you can build stuff um, but I'll leave that for another video and then going down this tunnel a bit further we've got our gym now sadly this hasn't despawned yet, so I've got uh, a couple of enemies that were killed before I built it, and it's going to take a while for them to disappear. I've tried using a mod to get rid of them, but I, I can't get it to work. So, uh, sadly, we've got a couple of bodies lying around. But anyway, this is our gym, and the settlers will come and use the pommel horse, and they will use the, uh, the weight bench. I uh, haven't got anybody assigned to the power cycle at some point. I might do that when we've got some spare settlers. And then there's the gym changing room come uh, bathroom. So again, this is a nice little bathroom changing room for uh, the people that are using the gym. And again, we've got another, sadly, another enemy here that uh, we couldn't get rid of. But uh, I think over time they will despawn, but I'll just need to leave it uh, some time. Go and do something else for a while, and hopefully when I come back they'll, uh, they'll have gone. So that's our, uh, our gym down this end. These uh, running machines are uh, a USO item. They're not functional, they're just, uh, they're just decoration really. They don't provide any function or happiness or anything but you know they they, they, they give atmosphere they give it immersion so uh, hopefully we've uh, managed to achieve a decent level of immersion with our uh, with our gym there so we'll make our way back up to the main atrium again so we can run through this area it's quite a way Now I think one of the mods that I've used has interfered with the uh, sound of footsteps. So for some reason I'm not getting footsteps. That may resolve itself over time, I don't know. 
and then finally we'll go down the last wing um, so we've got another security area here with a couple of uh, jail cells in case uh, anybody's uh, had a little bit too much to drink and got themselves uh, into trouble and again we've got another uh, security camera uh, monitor there if we want to uh, monitor our, our cameras from this side there is a guard assigned here but uh, they're off doing something else at the moment So again, we'll go. To, this is going through tunnels that we've opened up in Vault 88. And this uh, this room has no actual function, uh, but I've just decorated it to look a bit like a sort of uh, you know science laboratory, computery type affair so we've got a, a hacker terminal here which you can't actually use it's just a piece of decoration that comes from the neon flats uh, all these uh, uh, desk items here these modular desks uh, come from the uh, neon flats or neon heights as whatever it's called and uh, we've got a few machines around the place uh, you know to make it look like it's a bit of a you know an actual working laboratory and then finally as we go through further through here through this tunnel now we have our experimental uh, farm so this farm has got items that are not uh, I don't think they're in the base game so you, you can you can add glowing fungus and uh, silt bean and uh, I think this one is an aster yeah I don't think the aster has uh, grown yet and um, these uh, sort of uh, raised bed things are also from uh, USO so I like to think of this as the uh, experimental sort of hydroponics um, area where you know the settlers might be trying different things because they're bored of potatoes and corn um, so that's our little experimental uh, experimental farm down the far end of this wing So we'll make our way back up to the atrium. Uh, that is the uh, full tour. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this and it is uh, giving you some inspiration to uh, to expand into Vault 88 because you can be quite creative with it. As you can see, you can make a, a decent sized settlement. Well, in fact, I'd say this is a large style settlement and, uh, you know, it can be quite immersive. So, there we go. That was my Vault 88 um, video tour. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this. If you have, please consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a like. It will give me motivation to make more, more videos. But anyway, I've been LD50, you've been lovely, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.